welcome to QLab. In today's video, we're going to be dissecting an orchid flower. Now this one looks a little bit different to what we've done before, but it's exciting nonetheless. What you can't see is I like to keep the room nice and tidy for when I do this bit of videoing. But my wife's been baking, so the table has got cookies on it. Okay, let's get on with the video. Now, unlike in previous flower dissections, I only have one shot at this because my wife has said I can only take one flower off the orchids. So, let's have a look at this flower and see what we can see. Now there's a few interesting features. Firstly, I've taken this flower off right, the flower stalk off, right at the pendicle. And that's the part of the orchid, that stalk that comes out of the orchid, you get the flowers coming off. And then what we can see straight away is that there are three outer sepals and three inner petals, though this one is very different to these two. So let's start taking this apart carefully and I'll describe it as we take it apart. So the first sepal, that protective sort of petal-like structure that we'll take off is this one here. And this is called the dorsal sepal because it's at the back. So we'll just take that off very gently. I've got to be gentle with this. It's the dorsal sepal. And then you've also got these two lateral sepals. It's three in total. And I'm trying to remove things very, very carefully. That's one. And just to the back here, I'm just gripping it there and pulling downwards. Pulling downwards ever so slightly until I just hear it break loose. That's the dorsal sepal and the two lateral sepals. And then we've got these two petals here and we can remove those to leave us with the very sort of functional central machinery. So that's one petal and a second petal. Now this here, this is a, it's still a, called a petal, but it's more well known as the labellum or lip. And this is where a pollinator will come in. They'll sit on this surface, a bit like a, a runway. They'll sit on this surface in order to pollinate the flower. So let's have a little look at some of the detail around this part. Now it's important to note that there are two sort of lobes here and they are protecting the central part here. I'm going to try and use magnifying glass to show you it a little bit better. This central section, which I'm zooming in on at the minute, is called the column. And orchids are a bit different to the other flowers we've looked at so far in that their male and female parts are fused, it means they're together. They're not separate like the stamen or the stigma. And so we're going to have a little look. Oh, there's a couple of things I wanted to point out about this first. So you've got this petal and there are these lobes that protect the sides. And there's the throat at the back of this. And right in there, you can maybe see this dark section there, that's called a callus. And in fact, I'm going to take this whole section off, Ooh, carefully. Let's put that down for a moment. And you can see that these lobes are present. If I pull them aside like that, and inside, oh dear, well, we can separate them off. That's all right. Those two lobes... inside we have this little callus there 
So we're going to sit that down here. We're going to have a little, pay a little bit of attention to this part. Now the first thing we can notice, ooh, let me put it back a bit. Let's see if I can zoom a little bit better. The first thing we can notice with this is it's a long column. That's the base of the flower to the tip of the column. And at the tip, there's something called the anther cap. Now, can you remember anther from the previous ones? Well, they were the part of the stamen that released the pollen. And so if I lift this anther cap, ooh, can you see inside? I want to get a microscope out. Not a microscope, eh? You can see those two lobes, they're laden with pollen. And that's the pollen that has to go down to the stigma. Now it's a lot harder to see this, so I'm going to lift this section off a little bit. Ooh. Fold that back. You can imagine a pollinator will come in and effectively do this process. There's a hole, the hole's there, and that's where the stigma is, and it's sticky, so it can pick up pollen. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open that bit up, you can see actually a slight bit of green in there, where it is. I'm going to open that up, but I'm going to do it with a knife and I'm going to do it along it. So first thing I'm going to do is take the stalk off like so, and then I'm going to cut along, Ooh. try to go in a slightly better angle, there we go, and so I can just fold this open like so, and there aren't any ovules in this one, at the minute, or at least I can't see them, But you can see there where the stigma would be for the um, pollen to stick to. So let's rearrange this guy. So what we have here, well, we've got those, that dorsal sepal and the two lateral sepals. And then we've got those two petals. And then we've got the petal down here, which is known as the labellum, or lip. And then we've got those lobes that protect the central column, which we've actually split up. And at the top of the column, you have that anther cap, which is just it's like a little lid. You can basically just flick it up. And underneath that anther cap, you have those two anthers laden with pollen. Now, they're little beads of pollen as well as in their little collections of pollen together, and they can be called pollinia. And then that pollen is transferred to the stigma, where it will eventually make its way to the ovules for fertilization. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. The next one we're going to look at, well, I might do a cross section of a leaf. And we can see how a leaf works. That could be quite good fun. If you haven't seen any of the other dissection videos, I'll put them up somewhere around here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.